hi everyone in this video I am going to show you a sales update for the month of um, September 2018 and what I managed to sell and what I've got for it as you can see I've sold 38 items or 38 products a total of 639.73 and all right, so that works out to be roughly about £21.30 a day, uh, £16.81 per item. And I'm working on a profit margin of about 45 cents. So I'll let you work out how much profit I made. You're looking about just under 300 quid. So somewhere region of 287 to 90. Right. Okay, so let's get into what I managed to sell. All right, so here we are. I'm I'm going to try to hide the buyer's name. So I'm just going to talk to you just on the corner of the screen, as you can see. It's not right for me to you know keep giving away people's information, which is wrong. We all know this, right? So let me try to do it such a way that I can hide their privacy okay that's fine so we have here Nike Air Max plus girls triple black trainer now this pair was belonged to my middle daughter now she bought it for I don't know about near 100 quid uh, she doesn't wear it anymore so I flogged her for 29.95 uh, that's size 1 TN black 1 TN now that's size 4 and a half right I got $29.95 on that pair. The next item is a Converse, usual, my usual stuff. You need Chuck Taylor All Star size 6, UK size 6, got £15.70. And now I'm sort of moving on to telephones. Now, here I sold a BT single digital cordless answering phone. Now, if you like to look up this item, is code number 084025. Okay, I paid four pound and I managed to get 21 pound 95. So, keep on looking out for telephone sets you know, cordless telephones, normal BT telephones, con uh, BVT, um, Converse coded telephone, that kind of thing. Okay, the next item, my usual. Uh, where am I? Yeah, there. 59.50 baseball cap. Normally 9.95. Pick them up for £2.50 to £3. I don't pay them for £3. £2.50, two quid, and that's it. Okay, next item. A Star Wars glass set. I bought in a charity shop for £2. Now that went for £10.95. The next items. Now I've sold those few of those before uh, karaoke children karaoke um, CD player now this one is Lex Lexi book normally they come uh, early learning center have some of those most of them you know I sold before is belong to early ELC early learning center uh, you pick them up for about four quid, and I managed to get seventeen ninety five on that one. Now again, and this one's a BT two thousand two five zero zero digital cordless phone. It's a replacement handset. Now I paid, I think I paid a pound for it. I've got twelve ninety five out. So always look for handsets. Yeah, these kind of cordless handsets, okay? Again, another one, a BT, um, BT coded telephone. I had to do a bit of uh, partially refund on that one because um, I did not check it properly and the display feature is not working. So I decided to give the, uh, so I sold it for 9.95, I give them back five quid. Okay, and this item here, 
it's always a good seller. Buzz light here. Every time you see one, just pick it up. Just pick it up. Don't worry about it. Just grab it. Good condition. No problem. Just grab it. I paid two quid for it. Got twenty one ninety nine. Just get it. Normal price at Amazon forty five fifty quid. Forty five forty seven something like that. So, whenever you see one, just grab it and sell it. Twenty one ninety nine. I got that one. Next item is um, a court baby court lullaby. Wind up musical thing down there. Um, this one is Maison de la Monde. Maison de la Monde. Uh, you can get EL, uh, ELC have some as well. Paid paid two quid for it. Seventeen ninety nine. I'll go back. Pair of Nike Air Max ninety essential gray size nine and a half. Uh, I think I paid on the top end eight quid. Got back in twenty nine ninety five. Um, this is just I picked it up out of the blue. This um, uh, fountain water feature, like the pump, water pump, small pond pump. I picked it up for seven quid. Got back nineteen ninety nine. Okay, this is this item was brand new. In a, uh, you know, it's plastic sealing um, taping as well. And this is my the biggest sell this year. On a, not bigger sell, it means you know bigger. Um, it's not a biggest sell. I've sold you know other top items, but this one's it's very interesting. I picked it up in a local charity shop. Sony CD Walkman, digital mega bass. Right, this the number is D hyphen E J zero one one and that was a new sealed it was yeah so I'm re repeating myself the number again Sony Walkman D hyphen E J zero one one now that was literally brand new in a in a plastic um, cover I paid six quid now drum roll please now I got seventy five pounds. That went for seventy five pounds. I paid six quid for it. Seventy five pounds. So make sure whenever you see one, grab it. And I've given you the 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 modern number there. Okay, that was fantastic. The next is night air flight, Harachi. Uh, paid six quid. $24.99 and the next item I try to avoid it but whenever I see these items I just pick it up maybe my instinct before I, I sell these day in day out this is a Hamler special Pantala cigar vintage um, whiskey water water jug for pubs and clubs and whatever $12.99 paid 2 quid uh, in a charity shop Got twelve ninety nine back. Uh, next item. Next item again is the fifty nine fifty baseball card again nine ninety five. And behold, I picked. I did pick up some calculators. So pound each. Um, uh, Casio scientific calculator. If you get them, buy them. Uh, paid a pound and got uh, six fifty. And next one is a Polaroid FM radio. Paid a pound, got seven ninety nine back. Next item we have the Braun uh, Lady Shaver. Uh, paid seven quid. I managed to get nineteen ninety five out of it. Um, Nike uh, Woman Air Feather, high premium. Uh, paid six quid, sixteen ninety five. That went a bit low. Converse again, size four. Uh, that went for fourteen fifteen ninety nine. Paid four quid. Nike Air Force eighty two, Air Force one eighty two. Paid seven quid. Got back twenty one ninety nine. Again, another calculator here, Casio. 
Fahita Quid Forum, 650. Uh, Nike Air Force One, gray color, vault size 10. So whenever you see a higher size, make sure you pick them up because they go snap, snap, snap. Eight quid, $22.99 back. Uh, pair of kickers, one of my girls had it, so I just let it go for four. Um, put it on auction, it went for £4.29. And another one, wooden stacking block, Jenga, Jenga, whatever you call it. That went for 450. I put a PNP 120 there. Now these are the items I was just trying to get rid of. I put some of um, on an auction so I can get rid of them. Stack of books, stack of board games. I can't get rid of them, so went for 749. I would normally tend to put a vid on 99p vid. Just if if I were to get rid of it, so I I tend to put it on a auction style listing so it goes. Right, Nike uh, High Dunk, that went for $26.99, I paid 8 quid, Converse, uh, this is size 10, all white, Chuck Taylor all white, 5 quid, went for $19.99, Nike Air Force One, mid 07 women's trainer size 6 paid 4 quid went for 1418 um telephone here now logic uh model number L20DPIG10 Paid seven quid, went for 19.95. Now this is very interesting. If you ever come across this pair of shoe, do not hesitate to buy it. Even if it costs you, say 25 to 30 quid, just buy it. Because I made a mistake on this pair. It's called Nike Air Fox, Nike Air Max 360 rejuvenation or something right night air max 360 rejuvenation i think it's pronounced right it's it's basically it has a green camouflage style um style uh, feature Uh, the sad thing is this was bought by a guy who fixes his stuff and without contacting me, me or doing anything this guy has given me a negative feedback so after all these years of trading on eBay I get a negative feed for, for poxy shitty excuse my language a shitty re cassette recorder I sold that guy gives me a, a bad report on that one which is really really annoying and I'm going to show his name as well. I don't mind showing his name. Because I like to shame him. Apparently no reason he gives me a, gave me a, a negative feedback. Now here, I'm going to show you his feedback here. Look, all he's put down blackmail to retail goods unless partial refund was issued. Happy to keep keep goods. Now I, I don't know. I, I can't work out it, what he's trying to say is that this is what he put down i rang ebay up and i was talking to those fools in philippines have not got clue i kept on telling them send me to ireland so i can have a good chat with somebody who knows about this stuff but unfortunately they refused and they're going to stick to this and even though i explained look i i don't understand the meaning of this because this guy never actually got in touch with me didn't do anything, didn't ask for refund, didn't even say the, the pro, uh, item was uh, not working properly, but he decided to put a, a negative feedback. Right, so, look what he's done to my feedback now. I'm down to 95, 99.5. Just because of this one stupid guy put a stupid feedback for a poxy 999 shitty 
item that really pissed me off. Now, and even pissed me off for the bloody eBay as well sometimes, they favor the bloody buyers than the seller. I'm sure you've gone through those sort of freaking heartbreaking situation, frustration. I don't need all these crappy things. Look at my feedback. Look at those beautiful feedbacks. I can show you up to page 44, 57 page of damn feedback. 57 page of feedback. Huh? 57 page of feedback. None of them any negative. All positive. 57 page of them. Damn, when you get this damn idiot it's giving me a feedback for no reason without contacting me. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope um, you'll find these items are interesting. So whenever you go for your car boot sale or you go to your thrift store, you go to a uh, charity shop, second hand shop or garage sale, whatever. Or if you're in the UK, you go to car boot sale regularly or check um, charity shop, second hand shop. Just pick these items up. Just look at it, pick it up, what I'm selling, and sell it. Simple as that. Or even if you are drop shipping, for example, you can see my items and basically drop ship the same item. But it's on these are new items. You, you're going to drop ship the new items. Right. Once again, sorry, I'm gone over the top on this video a bit about the feedback. I hope you understand as an eBay seller the frustration you and I have to go through. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please, 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 please make sure click and like and subscribe button and make comments. Thank you so much.